come to my YouTube channel. Okay, so um, we are going to talk about how you can succeed. Basically, how to um, succeed as an engineering student in Kenya University, to be specific, in Kenya University. So, first of all, I would like to congratulate you because you've earned it. You've really earned it. Getting admitted into Kenya University won't be easy. It wasn't easy during that time and then I know that it wasn't easy for you to okay so welcome to the College of Engineering so as I said earlier this video will be about I'm trying to teach you how to succeed as an engineering student in Kenya West or any other engineering university across the country there are two ways to you know, master this. It's either you work hard or you work smart. Most students come to the university and then they start working smart. Some do work hard, but the smart ones do work smart and then they succeed. It's just simple, simple logic. So, what you have to do is just follow me, follow what I'm trying to do. Over here and then let's get right into this video okay so first of all you might ask who is this guy okay so my name is bright I've already introduced myself I'm bright you can see a boy um, then I just graduated last year 2021 then basically I offered petroleum engineering and then to you I will be your student tutor I'm a lot of things yes but for the purposes of this group I would be your student tutor okay so there you have it um, during our time we had um, a virtual congregation the 50 feet virtual congregation so yeah. Someone would say it is what it is. So yeah, it is what it is. That's my that's me right there. That's my picture. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so what you need to do? What do you need to do? What you need to know? There are some things you need to know. They are facts. You just need to know them. And knowing them is just bonus. Knowing these things will be a bonus for you. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is how to survive engineering in KNUSC. Right? You have to know how you can survive as an engineering student in KNUSC. It's either in KNUSC or any other engineering school okay the second one is how to study the most complicated courses in your first year the smart way that's why the smart way is in the bracket is very very important that's why earlier when i said some students get into the university they try to study hard all their fellow students try to study smart. The, st the smarter ones end up with distinctions. All the ones who are trying to work hard most of the time struggle. So the main purpose of this video is to teach you how to learn smart, not hard. Smart, not hard. Okay, so. And then how to score at least 25% in the mid-sem exam. So for Kenya University, um, you have your mid-sem exams graded out of 30, right? So my target is to help you get at least 25% out of that 30 max. And then 
We also learn how to score 65, at least 65 in the end of semester examinations. Okay, see. Um, can you see end of semester examination is graded out of 70 marks? So, 30 for mid -sem and then 70 for end of semester, making 100%. So, I also pinpoint some of the things you need to know in order to get this mark. 65 right okay so let's move on okay so how to complete your first year of study with the first class average i also talk about that and then how to maintain or gradually increase so sometimes after maybe your first semester exams you get Sometimes, most of the times, about 80% of the students do not get their target averages. Yeah. That's because most of them try learning hard. And then the 20% will try and learn smart and then they end up with their preferred averages. So after getting the average, and then that's where you, 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 you become introduced to the hardest part. That's either you maintain it you decrease or you increase i'll talk about that later on let's move on okay so how to survive engineering can university so the first thing you have to know is that you have to be close to a lot of lectures especially those technical lectures those lectures teaching the technical stuff the technical courses you have to very you have to be very very close to them and then you have to be very very close to your teams because they, they just assist you they are always there to assist you in terms of any difficulties and then the, the other thing is you have to be very interactive with your course mates yes that's very very important but the two most important things are to be very very close with your lectures and then your teams and the second point is have to be, you have to connect with lots of your colleagues outside your field of study. So maybe you are studying civil engineering. You have to be very, very close to someone who is also um, studying maybe geomatic or geological or petroleum because you are in the same department, right? Same faculty and departments. Okay, so and then you have to get yourself a serious mentor. And then the mentorship. I don't know whether they still do the mentorship, but for the mentorship, I've divided it into three parts. First, you have to get a spiritual mentor, someone who is spiritual, like not just a church going fellow, but someone who is spiritual, and then someone who is academic minded, and then someone who can connect you with lots of people, especially people who would help you in the future. You get it? Yes, so spiritual, academics, and then someone who can connect you to people. Okay, so this is the KNUST grading system. Yes, this is the KNUST grading system. Okay, so 70 and above is first class. Looking at the 70 mark, you might say that, oh, as for 70 marks, I could get it in my first semester exams. Forget it. Try, trust me. We've been there before. It's not easy. You have to be very, very consistent. You have to set a target. You have to know what you have to score in the mid sem especially. And then do your best in the end of sem. Because the fact is, after writing your exam in Ken UST, you cannot predict your marks. Yes, that's the truth. So get that and then you will be free. Okay, so. Second class upper is 60 to 69, 69 to 60, and second class lower is 59 to 50, and then the pass is 49 to 45, but my target is the, we are targeting the first class average, right from first year. I'll tell you why you have to target first class average right from first year, but let's move on. Okay, so how to, this is where the problem is, how to smartly study. The most complicated courses okay so some of the most complicated courses 
in engineering are the technical ones. Something like engineering mass, apply electricity, and the rest, right? Mechanics, basic mechanics, um, stats, and the rest. Okay, so first you have to get yourself a dedicated timetable. Yes, this is very, very important. You might end up having lots of fun and then forget to even study. Yes, so you have to get yourself a dedicated timetable. Very, very important. And then you have to know yourself. This one is also very, very important. Know yourself. You have to know when and what to study, and then how to study those courses. Okay, so for the technical courses, you have to know how, when, and what to study at specific time. The reason why I I, I wanted to emphasize on the how, when, and what is that you have to know how to study certain technical courses you have to know when to study those courses so for i would advise you to study technical courses early during the day yes something like when you wake up at dawn maybe 3 4 a.m yeah, that's when i would advise you to study technical courses and then maybe at night or during the day you take up the less complicated courses and then you have to know what to study at specific time. That's when the timetable comes in. Right? That's where the timetable comes in. Okay, so you have to get yourself a learning partner. And it's very, very important. Get yourself a good learning partner. Someone who doesn't come to your room or whenever, or whenever you try to go study, the person starts making excuses and the rest. Maybe they joke around and the rest. Nah, get yourself a a serious one and then it's either you get yourself a serious partner or get a group of at least five five serious people five serious students yes get yourself five serious students okay and then okay so and then you set a target mark for each course for every semester the most important thing about um, engineering is that target the four, four credit hours and the three credit hours for the two two credit hours they are very very stubborn so try your best and study them right but the target right here is to always look out for the four and then three credit hours those are the ones that will help you boost your average trust me that's the only secret okay so as I said earlier on the first class to get that first class average you need the four and three credit hours let me let me tell you something let me let me let me say this someone might get high marks very high marks maybe 80 something 90 something in two credit in the two credit courses and then gets lower marks in the four and three credit courses the person might end up getting a lower cwa as compared to someone who had very high marks in the four and three credit courses as compared to the two credit courses. Yes, you have to know that you have to always target the four and three credit courses, score very high marks in the four and three credit, credit courses, and then for the two credit two credit courses, just do your best. You get me? That's the smart way. Target the four and three credit courses learn them with all your mind and then get high marks 90 something 80 something and then for the two credit courses just target um an a yes but a higher a something like something like 75 apples yes that's the secret right let's move on um Okay, so I'll continue the rest of the slides in the next video. Hope um, you were able to learn something today, something today, yes. So I'll end the video here and then continue later. Have a lovely day. And don't forget to subscribe, yes. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more updates. Yes, thank you.